Right. Uh, we said in this course, we're going to do, in this video, we are going to do uh, singular valid decomposition. And if you follow through the notebook, this is just a code for singular valid decomposition. But what is it exactly? Getting into the detail of the mathematics might make this video long and it will focus on things that are really not part of this course. Let's say linear algebra, because singular valid decomposition, you can learn about it in linear algebra. So if you just take any video, uh, or any course in linear algebra, you definitely learn single value, singular valid decomposition. Basically, what it, what it does is it tries to reduce the, because we are doing dimension reduction, so it tries to reduce the rank of the original matrix um, to a smaller rank. So let's say you, you have an R times X. Let's see if I have a, where I can write here. Okay, I can start writing here. Okay. So if you have, if you have a matrix, if you have a matrix, that is, um, if you have an R times C matrix, right, which means number of rows, number of rows here are going to be R, and and our columns, number of columns are going to be C. So it's just a system of linearly independent number of rows or linearly independent number of columns. Because the columns, you can consider them as, as what? As just vectors, as vectors like that. So the columns is going to be, it's, it's num the, you have C vectors with R elements in them. Or you can look at the rows as horizontal vectors with C elements in them. So if, if, R, if R is less than C, the rank will be, rank of the matrix will be R. And if um, C is less than R, the rank will be equal to C. It's not exactly just the number of number of columns, but the number of linearly linearly independent number of linearly independent columns or rows. Linearly independent columns or rows. Uh, that is the that is the definition of a rank. So we want to reduce the rank of this matrix to a smaller rank matrix. That's exactly what we're doing in singular value decomposition. But the detail of it, the mathematics behind it, you can see it in any other linear linear algebra course. Maybe at the end of this chapter, I'll, I'll put some bonus videos to explain some of these mathematical principles. Um, the, the most important part is on in SVD, it generates that smaller rank matrix, this one here, by keeping the vectors of the original matrix that have the most information that's what that's what we want even in pc when we're doing pca right we're keeping the stuff that gives us the most information when it comes to this what keeps us gives us the most information is the ones that have the highest highest singular value singular value and the one that has the highest link singular value so the smaller rank captures the most information uh, most important elements of the original space we, we, and so and by that removes noise removes noise right so let's just take a look at the code this is the code here we just do 200 components and stuff like that and then we just run svd this is you run it using truncated svd and you see this is the result this is the result from svd the the nines are by themselves you can see them the eights are almost by themselves around here and the ones are there and the zeros are there and stuff like that the browns the browns are probably the fives maybe the fives are just right there and the important part is this it, it is doing it without knowing what the label is it's just grouping information that looks the same that's very very important and when you then paint that information or color that information using the labels that you know you will be surprised right? you see oh wow even with that information that he has learned there's grouped um, similar handwritten digits um, in, in a similar cluster like this that's good that's very very important um, and here we are plotting again just the two most important uh, ve vectors but two most important vectors in SVD the first and the second one so yeah that's SVD maybe I'll have like a, uh, what do you call it? a video I will have a video, a bonus video explaining SVD, but just Google any linear algebra, linear algebra course or linear algebra video. SVD is learned in linear algebra. We learned it in, 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 in varsity when I was doing my applied mathematics. So yeah, um, that's it for SVD. In the next video, we're going to just get into a bit of random projection. 
we said random projection is another one so let's just look at the different types of random projection we have gaussian random projection sparse random projection i think we discussed them in the um, introductory videos yeah so stay tuned for random projection